So guys, what's going on? Guys, Canelo Alvarez has said that he's open to a Golovkin third fight and he wants to fight Golovkin again. He's even come out and said he wants to rip his head off or he wanted to rip his head off and he wants to knock him out again. So I, I do think that there's a great chance that we may see Canelo and Golovkin again. And I think that's why Golovkin's probably holding out for that fight. Um, there's other fights that I would rather see. I would Listen, I wouldn't mind seeing the trilogy again. And I think Golovkin probably deserves it after how close the first two fights were. Especially when, you know, I felt Golovkin won the first fight. And I thought, uh, Canelo, I thought Canelo won the second fight. But a lot of people thought Can Golovkin won both fights, which... I don't agree with. I think the second fight, I definitely thought Canelo won. A lot of people think that Canelo owes Golovkin the third fight just because of how close the first two fights were. And they were very good fights. Golovkin, however, has, in my opinion, not as good as what he was uh, when, you know, when they fought the first and second time. I think he's, you would say, regressed. And Canelo has got a lot better. Um, so... Would what? How do you see this one playing out? I a lot of, a lot of people say that Canelo would knock Golovkin out. Canelo would knock him out in 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 the third fight. Golovkin's never been knocked out. I know against Dervianchenko, who's hurt to the body, and Canelo is a vicious body puncher. Could Canelo stop Golovkin to the body? Who knows? I don't know how much Golovkin's regress. Remember, he is getting older by the day, and Canelo's going to probably first fight Plant in September, and then. After that, then he's open to fighting whoever. Then I do think Golovkin would be a huge fight for Canelo. And he may look at it as a fight where Golovkin's older now. And it would be probably the biggest money fight out there for Canelo. So I don't know how you I don't I don't know how guy how you guys would look at it. I, I don't particularly think that I would like to see him fight Golovkin. It's not my preferred choice. I wouldn't mind it. I I think it it would definitely make for a good fight. Um, but I, I, it's not my preferred choice. I would prefer him to fight Baterbiev. Uh, his trainer has also come out and said that he feels that that Baterbiev fight can happen. So that that was really good news, really. The fact that, you know, Eddie Reynoso saying that, you know, he would like that fight with Baterbiev. However, Canelo did say that he doesn't feel he has to go to 175. And he, he said he, that from what he said, it looked like the Baterbiev fight is not realistic. Um, I like the Golovkin. I, I don't mind the Golovkin fight because I think, you know, it, Golovkin probably deserves that third fight because of how, you know, the fight, the f first and second fight played out. But I think there are other better options. I think people would rather see him fight Andrade, Charlo, um, like Baterbia, even Bivol. Bivol has said, and I might do a separate video about that a couple of days, but Bivol has said he'd be willing to come down to 168 to fight Canelo. Now, that would be a fight that a lot of people would like to see as well because there are people out there that think Bivol can beat Canelo. There's definitely a lot of people out there that think Baterbiev can beat Canelo. But I don't think there's a lot of people out there now that think Golovkin would beat Canelo now. And to be honest with you, when Golovkin was a lot better in the first and second fight, the fights played out the way they played out. And I know I personally thought Golovkin won the first and Canelo won the second. Do you really see it playing out any different? in Golovkin's favour. I'll tell you why. Because for me, Golovkin has got worse since then. And Canelo's in his prime still. I can only see it either going exactly the same way where Canelo win the decision like you did in the second fight or actually Canelo will put a... Uh, he'll put a, a bigger beating on Golovkin. That's, that's, the way I, that's the way I see it, to be honest with you. I think Canelo will probably put a bigger beating on Golovkin. In the third fight. But if it, it's get, if it gets made, I don't think any of us will complain. I don't think any of us will complain at all. I think we'll watch it. We'll all watch it. Uh, because it is a big fight and it would be a huge fight. But is it a fight that... Is it, is it a fight that we really want as boxing fans now? Probably not. It's probably gone past its uh, sell-by date. I do think Canelo probably fought Golovkin when Golovkin was kind of... On the slide, uh, it would have been better if he fought him a year or two years earlier from when he fought him the first time. Um, but yeah, a trilogy wouldn't be bad. I just think there's better options and fans would probably prefer other fights like Charlo, Andrade. I don't know what you guys think. Would you prefer Canelo to fight um, Charlo or Andrade or would you prefer the Golovkin fight? 
Uh, or would you prefer him to go to light heavyweight and take on Bivol and, and Baterbiev? I think Baterbiev is a guy that people want Canelo to fight. I think some of Canelo's hardcore fans don't because I think they, they think that there's a risk he may get beat. Uh, but some, most of the neutral boxing fans, and you could say I'm one of them, would like to see him fight Baterbiev because although I know that there's a risk of that he could potentially lose to Baterbiev, I also feel that he could beat Baterbiev and I see it as a 50-50 fight. I see it as a fight where Canelo will be daring to be great and it will add to his legacy. If he beats Golovkin again, for me, it doesn't really add to his legacy because people will say Golovkin is past his best. Now, moving up to light heavyweight and fighting Baterbiev who's a 175 who's beating everyone at light heavyweight, that would do a lot, that would do a lot more because you'd, you'd have to say Canelo's daring to be great. He's moving up weight to fight a guy that's beating up, beating up big light heavyweights, you know, and is the, is the best heavy, light heavyweight out there right now, you know. So I personally think that Bivol or, or Baterbiev are two fights that I would like to, like to see. But I wouldn't mind seeing the Golovkin fight. It's just not my preferred option. But do I think there's a great chance of that happening? Yes, I do. Because I think financially it's probably a bigger fight than Baterbiev and Bivol. And I think it's less risky. Personally, I think the Golovkin fight's less risky now at the, at the at Golovkin's age and what we've seen of Golovkin of late, I think it's less risky for Canelo. So I personally think Canelo, when you look at it, Canelo's going to think, you know, it, it's a fighter that I beat already. He's getting older. It's a, the biggest money fight out there for Canelo. It's a fight where there'll be a lot more interest because Golovkin's a lot bigger star than a Bivol and Baterbiev. He's a lot more well-known. Both those two guys are, you could say, household names uh, and they're known to the casuals as well. So I think the fight would be a lot bigger financially. It'd be, there'd be bigger hype around it. So it'd make a lot more sense for Canelo from a business point of view to take that fight with Golovkin. Um, so, yeah, you wouldn't knock him. You wouldn't knock him taking that fight, especially when you look at what... Canelo's doing right now where he's unifying the 168 pound titles you can't really knock him for taking that uh, Golovkin fight after because uh, Canelo would have unified the vision he would have beaten the champions at 168 no matter what Canelo does he's going to get criticism right if he goes and fights and beats Baterbia there'll probably be certain people out there that look to trash him and say well Baterbia was 36 so no matter what Canelo is going to get criticism, but for me personally, majority of the neutral boxing fans um, and all of the boxing fans would would give Canelo a lot of credit because there are a lot of people. Trust me, there is a lot of people that feel Baterbiev would knock Canelo out. Trust me on that. I've spoke to a lot of people, even though I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. But there is a lot of people that think that, whereas I don't think there's many people that think Golovkin beats Canelo in the rematch. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you would agree with me. I think there's more people that think Baterbiev beats Canelo and that Baterbiev is a bigger risk than Golovkin. I mean, he, naturally, he's a bigger man. He's a light heavyweight. You know, he's, he's the best light, he's a unified light heavyweight champ. Of course, he's going to be a bigger risk than a guy that's a champion at middleweight. You know, it's natural. It's, it's common sense. Um... But financially, when you think, see, he could fight Golovkin and then fight Baterbiev. But again, you know, I do think Canelo has had some really, like, he's had a, he's had, he's fought some really top fighters and he's had a tough career. So, like, you know, Jacob's fight wasn't easy. The first two Golovkin's fight wasn't easy. Cotto fight wasn't easy. You know, the Mayweather fight. Um, you know, I know the Smith and Yildrim, but all these training camps and all that take you out. This guy's had a lot of fights now. And it's not just the fights, it's the training camps that take it out of you. So uh, I do think Canelo, although he's only 31 and you'd say he's in his prime, I do think he's not got that long left. I don't know how, how long Canelo wants to fight on for, but I wouldn't be surprised in another four or five fights if Canelo bows out. Because let's not forget, the man's had a lot of fights. He's had a lot, a lot of fights. And like I said, it's not just, even if the fights are easy, some of them, it's the training camps that take a lot out of you. And he's done this all in a short space of time. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how long Canelo fights on for. Uh, he may go on for long. He may, he may feel he's great, depending on how he feels. But I personally think with a, with a tough, he's had some tough fights. Uh, he's had a lot of, must have had a lot of hard training camps. How long is Canelo going to go on for? Uh, I personally think I won't be surprised another maybe 
four to six fights. Now he could go on for he can go on to at least 37, 38. That could be another 14 fights, maybe 10 to 12 fights. But I don't think he's gonna go on for that long because he really I don't think there's many other guys out there for him for, to fight now. To be honest, there's a couple of guys out there, and that's it. Otherwise, then Canelo's going to be looking to fight the, the next generation coming up, which, you know, there's always going to be guys that you could potentially fight. There's always going to be guys that are coming up, but Canelo's done his thing. And for me, he's already an all-time great. Now he's just adding to his legacy. And how many people at the age of 31 can say that they're already an all-time great? Now they're already adding to their legacy. You know, he's done everything very quickly in a short space of time and at a very young age. So you've got to respect that. You've got to respect what he's done. And he's taking on the best in 168. And hopefully, maybe we get the Charlo or maybe we get one out of the two. So maybe he'll fight either Charlo or Andre. Then we may see a fight. Or maybe you fight Golovkin. Maybe you fight Golovkin and then fight Baterbiev. Who knows? Only Canelo knows. Canelo's his own boss. Um, but I wouldn't mind seeing the Canelo-Golovkin fight again. I think... I, although it's not my preferred option as a fan, I think Golovkin, you could say, is probably owed another opportunity just because of the fact that the first two, the, the first two that fights that they had, one of them, a lot of people, most people thought Golovkin won the first fight, me included. The second fight, I thought Canelo won, but again, there was a lot of people that thought Golovkin should have got a draw or a win in the second as well. You know, so it would be right for him to get a third fight when you think about the first two fights, and they were entertaining fights as well. They were good to watch. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a great chance Canelo will fight him again. How, how would you see that one playing out? Do you think Canelo would stop Golovkin? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think, that would be, I think that would be tough. I personally think he can. I, I personally think he can just because I think that Golovkin is regressed um, and Canelo's in, in his prime right now. But I, I would, I definitely think Canelo wins the third fight. But would he stop him? I think he could, but I'm not sure because Golovkin's as tough as they come. He's never been down. Although he was hurt against Dervianchenko, he's tough as they come. And I don't know whether Canelo could stop him, but it would definitely be intriguing, guys. Just to give you a little update, I will be going live at eight o'clock for the Parker Chisora fight. Um, so yeah, tune in for that. I'll be doing a live watch along. Uh, so make sure to tune into my live stream. So guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, like, share the video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.